What's up, time campers? Meantime, I'm here. Today, we're bringing you another part of uh, The Order 1886. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the first part of a classic game that I find very interesting. One of my favorite games of the PS4. Uh, now, that's a very controversial way of, uh, of talking about the, or the Order 86, but I enjoyed the game anyway, so we'll definitely get back into part number two right now. So, without further ado, let's just jump right in. So, let's go. Centuries have passed, but our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission. Yes. To preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with Chapter grave two. upset by a new contagion, the rebellion. 14th day of October, Council of Knights of Paris, which is terror is allowed to continue. The plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. <laughs> I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. All right. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. What are you saying? We must stand vigilant together. Lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebels' influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel. But the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Hmm. Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's royal knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay. The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Hmm. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. Alright, let's get started here. We're leaving. Is that Marquis? Galahad will deal with this in due time. I have a more pressing matter to attend. As you wish. How many of us will make the journey to America? Oh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch, Sir Lucan? It would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may. Um, if you would permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dared countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head, no one else's. Mm-hmm. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. 
Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Night Commander wishes. Yes. Let's hope it works out for us. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, a word. Mm -hmm. Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egraine were adopted by him, yes? Yes, they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I would not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général, avec plaisir. Monsieur. All right, let's get some... Half kind or something. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill advised. Huh. Yes, sir. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. Oh, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. Godspeed. Let's go. Let's go kill some half-breeds. Always at your service, Sir Galahad. Oh, Tesla. This way, please. Ah, oh, Tesla. Just the man. Do, do, do. A nice little ballad down the elevator. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. Hopefully you have some very interesting weapons to show me. Any further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square? Police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep, what do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. Hmm. So reserved. Uh, permit me to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around, uh, play with whatever strikes your fancy, but do be careful. Yes, yes, indeed. Tesla Laboratory, Catacomba, Westminster, Westminster. Ah, yes. Nicola, Thomas Elf Edison. Your friend Edison these days. <laughs> Thomas and I are not on speaking terms. The man is an idiot. Ah, uh, what is this? Oh, is that a grappling? Quite an antique. Hard to believe we ever use these communicators. What else? What else do we have around here that's interesting? Hello, sir. Hmm. More gibberish to me. Actually doesn't say much, but... Sir Galahad. Where are you, Tesla? Oh, there he is. Uh, Sir Galahad. I'm right here, I'm right here. Please, this way. I'm here. Here is something you may find interesting. This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternating current. <laughs> Quite handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. Uh, 
All right. It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier, outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. Uh, inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Please, try it. Oh boy, you're asking for a lot here. God damn it. It can be a bit difficult. Come on. Ah. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. All right, let's check it out. Here. Ooh, doggy. S684 Marksman Carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. Very nice, very nice. All right, let's go. Come on. Recoil is sharp, but manageable. Ooh. Good shot. Pretty good, pretty good. Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? The offer's tempting, but I must return to the others. Of course. Thank you. The monocular that General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it. Sweet. Sweet tool, sweet tool. We scour the district in pairs. Isabeau, you and Lafayette take the high street from the south end. Galahad and I will move in from the north. Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galahad. Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. One day. Remember, we are entering rebel territory. The That's insurgents will take careful. umbrage at our incursion into Whitechapel. Give an little discovery in Mayfair. The London Hospital should be our target. Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? The Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I have my doubts. Do you trust anyone, Mon General? Never accept. Always question. It's a motto that's seen me through the centuries. Centuries. Stay vigilant, all of you. We can expect hot work here. Ah, quelle joie! <laughs> A nest of cut purses, collaborators, Chapter three, and inequalities. I knew it very differently once. A lone chapel stood just there, offering sanctuary to travelers. That was before even my time. The city walls had yet to come up. Now you can smell white chapel before you see it. <laughs> Let's get this beam out of the way.
We rendezvous at the hospital. Stay on your guard. Understood. Ooh. He's one strong fella, ain't he? This way, monsieur. I am coming. Wakey, wakey, shake and bakey. A pipe. The ashes are still warm. Hello. Love it. He's only sleeping. Okay, fellas. Right. Smelt her. Get out of my way. What's this? Presence of four penny shall be provided shelter from the cold, subsistent meal, blah 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 blah. Alright. Hard times as I can see. Where am I going? Lafayette, move out of the way, goddammit. In progress, what's all this progress brought you? Hideous slums, some no more than crannies of obscure misery. Long hours in factories, only to be paid a pittance and told by your masters to be grateful for a few bob a week. Oh boy. Children work to the bone in the black hell of coal mines while the captains of industry feast from silver bowls. Is this the England we want? No! What must we do? Fight! We've been spotted. Let's That's move. right. Brothers and sisters, fight! Join our cause! Down with the Queen! Let's go right over here. I swear! Down with the Queen! Down with Empire! She's dead! Because of you! <laughs> Sir, you're under arrest. <laughs> Didn't care to dirty your aristocratic hands. <laughs> Let's keep going, then. We should head through this door. Oh, lock picking, eh? Oh, I don't remember this. Uh. Ah, man. Got it. Got it. It was unlocked when I got in here. Oh, it's that place. Oi! There's no weapons allowed in the establishment. You want to stay, you leave it here. Bien sûr, monsieur. As a matter of fact, we were just looking for the code closet. 
Give it here. And a fun governor. <laughs> At ease, monsieur. A quick reconnaissance of the premises seems imperative. Oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Obel Muse, Whitechapel. Come on now. Fantastic. All right, let's go. Join me upstairs now. Another time. I can show you things you've never seen before. I don't doubt it. Marky, this is no time for sport. Quite all right, love. Stupid. God damn we have to find a way out of here quickly. Uh, all, all, all right. I have just a thing, monsieur. If one of you ladies would reach into my pocket. Give it here, love. Is it sufficient, monsieur? <laughs> More than sufficient, I'd say. Upstairs, then, if you please. Let's go then, love. I don't have any weapons except for my sword now. That I can't use, I think. Are you about ready, love? You won't forget this, I tell you. I'm here. Way, love. Get in here. Oi! Here! What are you up to? You're in the wrong room! Where's the little frog gone? He's in there! With his friend! Oi! Get out of there! Oh, no, cover oh. that. Cover that. Hello? Oh no no no. You wanna lose your pecker? Alright, guess where we're going? Out this door porch. Alright, that's enough nudity for one day. Hadouken! We have intruders. Get your weapon, let's go. Uh oh, that's not good. Shh. Right, Skelly Ho, let's go. Let's go, let's go now. Looks like we've stirred the nest. That's no bueno. Keep a lookout, Marquis. I need to find a way through here. I shall be diligent, monsieur. You better be. Come on, Marquis, you got this? Let's go. Easy, easy. Nice and easy down this hallway. I don't want to get caught now. Man, it was probably super dangerous leaving candles everywhere two shorts for nights and one long for bobbies does it matter just keep your eyes open for either well i mean if it's nights shouldn't we get some help well obviously if we see any of those black guys scoping around down there we'll let the boys know and the same for bobbies now nah, if it's just a few we'll shoot them and be done and if it's more I don't know, we'll bloody shoot him too. Just shut your gob, keep looking. For fuck's what sake! Shit. Oh, Shit. You 
All right, that went uh, about as as good Perhaps as I thought. The rooftops are not our best path, Monsieur. You may be right. We need to find another way to the hospital. All right. Ooh. I found a way out. Yes, sir. Let's go. All right, new weapons ready to go. The black coats are here. That almost cracked his foot there. Trop facile, huh? <laughs> Too easy, huh? I don't know about that one, but. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate that. Leave a comment below if you enjoyed this part of uh, the video of uh, the series, and of course, if you played this game, what's your favorite part of what I just played? And especially to Lee, uh, go follow me everywhere. Me, Tom Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here on YouTube where I post new videos weekly. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I will see you next one. Keep on, keep it on.